Boa Brings Wrestling here with another exclusive pro wrestling news. Good day guys. In today's headlines, two veteran WWE stars have formed a tag team. Orange Cassidy wins all Atlantic Championship on AEW Dynamite. Why Charlotte Flair has gone missing from WWE. Daniel Cormier admits his guest referee spot at Extreme Rules was almost a mess. Stay tuned to find out the details of these headlines. Two veteran WWE stars have formed a tag team. It looks like R-Truth is no longer going to be involved in comedy segments with the WWE 24-7 title because he is now listed as part of a tag team. Plans can always change but a report from Fightful Select states that R-Truth and Shorten Benjamin are listed internally as a tag team. Truth and Benjamin teamed up this week before Raw during the main event happens and they lost to NXT's Brooks Jensen and Joss Briggs. Benjamin and Truth wrestled against each other in the prior couple of weeks before this week's tag match. For those of you wondering what the status of the 24-7 title is, it is still being defended but primarily on main events and at house shows and mostly in regular matches. Then Abrook defeated Fallon Henley this week on main event to retain the title. The last time the belt was defended on Raw, was in early July prior to Vince McMahon stepping down as the CEO of the company. Orange Cassidy wins all Atlantic Championship on AEW Dynamite. The AEW star has finally added some gold to his repertoire. AEW held its first episode of Dynamite outside the United States. It was held in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The card featured matches like Billy Gunn vs. Shrev Strickland, Chris Jericho vs. Brian Danielson, and Jungle Boy vs. Luchasaurus. It also featured Rene Paquette's AEW debut as a backstage interviewer. In the main event, the All-Atlantic champion Pac fought in a rematch against challenger Orange Cassidy. This was Pac and Cassidy's third singles encounter. Coming into tonight, Pack was 2-0 in a series against Cassidy, but fans nevertheless were rallied behind Mr. Freshly Squeezed in his quest to end his first championship on AEW. For the past few weeks, he's been cheating in his All-Atlantic title matches. His weapon of choice is the metal hammer on the timekeeper's table that is used to ring the bell. When Orange Cassidy first challenged Pack for the title, the bastard hit him in the head with a hammer to retain the belt. Then, he pulled the same move against Orange's teammate Trent Barretta. Tonight was Orange shot at revenge. Pac attempted to use the hammer again but was stopped by Dan Hosen, who distracted him long enough for the referee to see what was happening. Pac, however, had another metal hammer hidden under the ring. Luckily, Orange hits Pac with his finisher Orange Punch before the bastard could land a blue. With another Orange Punch and a three count, the match was over. Orange Cassidy is now an AEW champion. It'd be long overdue though. Why Charlotte Flair has gone missing from WWE Charlotte Flair is currently taking time away from WWE television due to personal reasons. This is according to her husband AEW Andrade El Idolo, who was interviewed by Mass Lucha. Andrade brought us up when addressing speculations on him being amongst the group of wrestlers. Triple H has reportedly contacted over a WWE return. As part of this, El Idolo noted that WWE could feasibly contact him through Charlotte, but she is currently sidelined for reasons she will specify later. He said, I cannot say that I have contacted Triple H recently, but it is difficult due to legalities. And if he wants to speak to me, my wife works there. So he can always reach out to me from there too. It is difficult at the same time because Ashley has time off due to personal reasons and she will specify them in future interviews. It was very heavy because she worked on Thursdays to work on weekends while I travel on Tuesdays and return on Thursdays as soon as she was scheduled to leave. Right now, we are good because I get to see her more. I hope she comes back soon." Unquote. Flair has been absent from WWE since 8 May's WrestleMania Backlash 2022 Premium Live event. 
where she lost the SmackDown Women's Championship in an I Quit match with Ronda Rousey. It was reported shortly afterwards that she and Andrade were taking time away from their respective promotions for their wedding. While El Idolo returned to AW by June, Charlotte remains sidelined. There is currently no word on when Charlotte will return to the promotion. She is yet to appear on a show under the company's new regime. Daniel Komi admits his guest referee spot at Extreme Rules was almost a mess. Daniel Komi says his guest referee spot at WWE Extreme Rules was almost a mess and that he got lost in the finish. The UFC legend played a significant role in WWE's Extreme Rules pay-per-view this past week. He was a guest official during the fight pit match between Manredo and Seth Rollins. Reviews of Komi's work were varied. But it wasn't nearly as bad as Komi himself thought it might be when his first appearance for WWE almost turned into a disaster. Komi explained to ESPN MMA and I quote, I was in the back and I was nervous. I started forgetting the match. I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot the pain. I kept having to ask questions. I was so nervous, bro. Unquote. He noted that things got a little easier as he went out there and got into the action. Part of it was the energy he got from the live crowd, quote unquote. It was so fun, the energy of the crowd is second to none. But even that posed some issues for him. He noted that the crowd started turning on him and he was getting heckled, being called Carl Winslow from Family Matters and urging him to climb the cage and get up on the platform with Matt Gredel and Rollins. He said to himself and I quote, I'm not going up there with these dudes. Then he said the worst possible thing that happened is that he got lost in the finish. Realizing he was too busy watching the wrestlers do their thing, he got sidetracked by the little ledge they were on and Riddle jumping off the platform. You could tell he was lost because he forgot to start counting both men. But all worked out in the end though. When it was all said and done, the match turned out just fine with Riddle picking up the win and the close of the show leading to Bray Wyatt's return. Komi did a commendable job in the main event, but it will be interesting to see if that experience leads him to a desire to do more. He said he had a time of his life and that the experience was so much fun. That's all for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more. Thank you. See you.